India's Ministry of External Affairs has clarified when it comes to the issue of Bangladesh postponing its foreign minister's visit to India. While addressing the media earlier, the MEA spokesperson, Ravish Kumar, has commented on the rumours that have been doing the rounds that Bangladesh cancelled its foreign minister's visit to India due to the passage of the Citizenship Amendment Bill that we just discussed. He said that the relationship between the two countries remains strong as ever. Well, you know, I mean, I think we need to deal in the two. I think uh, the cancellation of uh, the visit of Bangladeshi foreign minister, who was scheduled to come to India to attend the Delhi Dialogue, uh, is, is separate. Uh, and I think he has explained, I think he's talking about some scheduling issues. He said that the foreign secretary is out and um, he's also mentioned about other reasons. So I think we will have to accept what the Bangladeshi foreign minister is saying. All right, going straight across now to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibbal, who's joining us. Uh, tell us more about what the MEA has said, uh, Sidhan, while commenting on that uh, visit. Well, Molly, there seems to be an external dimension when it comes to the passage of uh, uh, the Citizen Amendment Bill in the Indian Parliament. Uh, both the Bangladeshi Foreign Minister and the Home Minister have cancelled their visit and both of them announced the cancellation today itself a day after the passage of the bill in uh, the Indian Parliament and the fact that the Bangladeshi Foreign Minister before his visit made comments uh, which were not very positive regarding uh, the, the entire bill uh, makes a lot of eyebrows raised here in Delhi and Dhaka as well. Of course there is an attempt to contain any fallout uh, as well. We have seen statement coming from the Bangladeshi foreign minister himself who said that there were some certain internal things, especially the celebrations of the Victory Day. That is why he cancelled the visit, but there is no reason given when it comes to cancellation of the visit by the Bangladeshi Home Minister who was to visit Meghalaya. Uh, of course, what the Indian Foreign Ministry, the External Affairs Ministry said, they highlighted the strong relationship between India and Bangladesh, uh, said that uh, it's a golden age between the relationship and in fact, uh, the uh, the spokesperson clarified the statement made uh, by the Indian Home Minister. He said that what Home Minister of India in the Parliament meant when it comes to persecution of minorities in Bangladesh was it happened in the previous regime and in fact the under the current regime uh, there are a lot of steps being taken by the current uh, government in Bangladesh to make sure that there is confidence among uh, the minorities there so uh, India trying to make sure that there is no fallout but uh, there are concerns uh, now raised given the fact that both the Bangladeshi foreign minister and the home minister have cancelled uh, their visit but by and large if you look at the relationship between the two countries Right. They have been growing stronger with each passing month. We have seen, of course, the visit of the Bangladeshi Prime Minister. She visited India two times this year. So there will be, uh, uh, in private conversation, uh, both sides will be trying to make sure that the statements are clarified and the confidence is restored. Right, and that is uh, what uh, the uh, ultimate uh, objective here is of those statements as well. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Sadhan Sibyl, thanks very much for that update.